This lesson is to show you how to use the basics of Twitter, how to tweet, retweet, send a private message, and to set up a list. I've logged in to my account at twitter.com, and that is the first step is you have to make an account and verify your email address and then log in. So once you've logged in, you might want to at some point customize your profile so you have a nice background, a picture, and a little bit about yourself. But that's an optional thing, and when you're ready to do that, you click on the Settings button. Okay, so here are some of the basics. You can see that I'm following 3,000 people on this account, and I have 3,240 followers. And then at your, the right side is important because here at the at symbol with my username, this is how I check to see if someone sent me a reply to something that I've sent out or if, it, if I'm a winner of a Twitter contest or a Twitter party, this is where I want to click on to check. This would be public replies. The direct messages are private messages that no one else but me can see when I've logged in to my account. Now, some of the basics to send a tweet. You click in this box. You have to know uh, the person's username, and I'm going to send it to my other account, one of my other accounts. Um, you can have many if you want. Um, freebies are fun because I own freebiesarefun.com so freebies are fun is my username for my Twitter account you always start it with the at symbol and do not put a space in between the at symbol and the person's username because it won't get to them and then you can put a space afterwards and type your message now you want to look at the top because you start with 140 characters but as you type you'll see this number the 124 it's gone down because I typed this is going to go down even further. So watch that number 124. And you see that as I type, that number's gone way down and it tells me I have 59 characters left. A character is a number, a letter, or a space. And you add all of them up to get the limit that you get is 140 characters. That's why a lot of times you'll see people abbreviate things and not um, spell words correctly and a lot of times it's not because they can't spell it's because you only have the 140 characters so you have to get creative when you're writing so that's a basic tweet is the person's username um, the at symbol the username and then your message and then all you do is hit tweet and it goes out to everyone that is following me will see that because it's public and you'll see that it showed up automatically it showed I sent it it showed who I sent it to and it showed my message and the time. Now this is um, tweets from the 3,000 people I'm following. Of course you probably don't want to follow that many people because it gets very hard to keep up with. So um, you, if you start following a lot of people and you find that it's too much, you can unfollow people. Now you can see that as we've been sitting here I've got 39 new tweets so if I hit that then it's going to show them. Sometimes it automatically updates the page and sometimes you have to have to click that. Now, uh, that was how to send a tweet. Now, to how to, what is a retweet? A retweet is, okay, here's something someone has said, and I like it, and I want everyone that follows me to know about it. So, if I hit the retweet, let's see, retweet, it's not working. Let me refresh. Could be stuck, that happens sometimes. Go back and try to find it. Okay, if I hit retweet, I get the option that I can retweet it to my followers. So the um, 3,200 people that are following me are all going to see that. Of course, it all depends on if they're online and they're actually reading what I have to say. Um, but it, I, what it is, it's going out to the Twitter world. So you want to be careful what you, you send out because, okay, well, that gave me an option to undo it, maybe because it doesn't go through instantly but you can take it back then, but you probably don't get a lot of time before then that undo is is not available. So that's that's all there is to retweeting, is seeing what somebody has written, hitting the button. You don't get a chance to change what's written there though. You would have to use some other program, um, not using twitter.com, and I'll show you that in the future. Now, um, replying to somebody, if I know somebody and I want to reply to them, I'll do it to me. Well, I guess you can't do it to yourself, but um, 
here's Mindy. Mindy is a sweeper who's on our site and chat room a lot. So I'll hit reply. And I'm not retweeting and I'm not copying what she said. I'm actually wanting to talk to her. So I put, when you hit reply, it puts her username and password, username, sorry. It puts the at symbol and her username in there. And then I can just type my message. Now, I didn't have to hit the reply. If I know and I wanted to talk to her, I could just click up there and just type it. But because um, maybe I saw something that she wrote and it reminded me, oh, I wanted to ask her something. And that's why I hit the reply. It just put it in there for me without me having to do it. And I would just, you know, type my message again, just like we did when we did our first tweet and then we'd hit tweet, but I'm not going to send her something. Uh, you can send uh, a message to multiple people. If I know, you know, other people, you know, I can put more people in here and that one message I send out, public message will go to everyone. But you, the more people you put, the less space that you're going to get to write because now you see my characters are gone down to 105. So you have to keep in mind that's all you get is that amount of characters. So that's how to uh, reply and retweet. Direct message, if I want to send a private message to somebody, I would put DM and I would put their username. DM space and username. You, you have to have a space for it to work. It's different than when you're sending a, a public message where you put the at. And then, of course, you just um, put your message here. So it's the same thing as typing a regular tweet, except for you put DM, and then that person's going to get it in their direct message area, which is over here. Now I can click on my direct messages to show you where they show up. I didn't actually send that one, but here's uh, all of the private messages I've gotten. No one else can see them but me. You notice that you don't see any ats, at symbols in the beginning because these people have sent me private messages. So that's how you check them. And then, like I said, how you send them is the way I just showed you. And then how you check the, the public messages that everyone can see that maybe somebody's retweeted something to me they wanted me to see something that someone else wrote or they wanted to ask me a question that that would show up here on this right side uh, the list the way a list works is maybe you have certain people you want to follow for some specific reason on with sweepstakes what I do is I keep a list of sweepers is what I call it and these are all the people that actually love to enter sweepstakes and Twitter contests. And they're constantly putting things out on Twitter about new contests and sweepstakes uh, to enter. And what's great about it is I don't, have to, I don't have to actually go and look to find anything to enter because these people are already doing it. A lot of people spend a lot of time every day online entering sweepstakes and Twitter contests. I just go to my sweeper list. I find something that I want to enter and sometimes I have to go to a page and enter it but sometimes I can just hit the retweet and I can retweet what they have said back out to the people running the contest and then that's that's my entry that's as easy as it is so this has been a short short lesson on how to tweet retweet um, use a direct message and the use a list and Let's real quickly go over how to set up a list because we didn't cover that. So if you hit new list on the right side, this is where you could type the name of the list. We'll just do a test for now. You don't have a give it a description. You can make it public or private. Going to hit create and then the next page will give you an option to try to find someone or multiple people to put on that list. If you're looking for people that enter sweepstakes and Twitter contests, you want to check out my chat room because uh, the, the people there enter them all the time and you could ask them for their usernames and put them on the list and then you can follow them and then you'll find things that you can enter yourself. If you know somebody's uh, username or if you know their email address, you can put that here or according to this first or last name. Okay, let's see what it brings back. Okay, that's my other account and I have to follow them first. I'm not following them. So you would have to follow the person. And now I can add them to whatever list I have. And I'm just going to stick it in my test list. And you can go up here and you can find more people if you like. If you want to you know, do it all at one time. 
and you'll probably add, add people over time but to get started you might want to you know just add a few people so I'm following my other account and I'm gonna click that button and hit uh, add that to the test and now I'm done so I'm gonna hit home at the top and I'm gonna go over here and check it out click on the test and what you see is not a list of people what you see is all the tweets from those people that are on your on your list and like I said this is a good way to now find things to enter from sweepstakes or you know if you're interested in something else and you want to follow like a very small list of people that you're that had the same interest well if you have any questions you can email me at sweetiesweeps at gmail.com